absolute pair of muppets. The next time I say load the cargo, I don't mean load the cargo into the helicopter. I mean, that's a one and a half ton crate there, for goodness sake. What are you going to do when you're flying over the area? Just lob it out the window and flip an egg. How much leg space have you not got there? I mean, that's, that's a health and safety risk. How are you going to get out the door if you've got a problem? Well, I don't know, folks, but welcome to the Flying Doctor channel. And uh, yes, we're looking at how to use the cargo variants of the H145 appropriately using the cargo hook. Let's geek into it. Right folks, so here we are here, zoomed in on the tablet. If I click on aircraft here, I'll get to that top bar that gives me the options for setup options equipment crew and payload that's the bar that i'm on at the moment if you look here on the bottom right hand side you'll find cargo hook as the title but there's a whole range of things that we can automatically carry forget the first one remote hook we're going to look at that later but we can carry barrels ammo boxes boxes cement bags large box concrete blocks air conditioner or huge logs which is uh, really nice to look at However, it's got no functionality uh, of its own. In fact, you can't actually drop any of these. Allow me to demonstrate. So if I'm hovering just above ground, as you can see here, I've held the altitude. If look underneath there, you can see that there is this metallic structure right underneath the aircraft. Uh, that is where the cable would usually be attached. If I want to simply uh, model an air conditioning unit if I just click on air conditioning unit it will attach that you'll see that right at the top here this icon changed did you see so right at the very top I'll zoom in every more just so that you can uh, see what's going on right at the very top here there is this icon there it is with the kind of hook of the payload but with it if I uh, put nothing there uh, that icon disappears if I put a remote hook down the hook is present here right at the top this little hook and if I replace that with say something that's got tension on it like an air conditioning unit if we zoom right in again you can see here that something is attached what's that look like well let's go and have a jump outside the, the aircraft well you can see here something is clearly attached to the bottom and we can see the line going up to the base of the uh, helicopter there now you can see our air conditioning unit right below the aircraft. And yes, a good amount of detail on there. And I'll leave you to have a look at some of the ob other objects that are there. Um, one of the issues here, and this is known and in the manual, is that firstly you can't just drop or let go of the object. Also, the object will sink through the floor of the runway here. I might happen to be, this is at an Cairo airport here and you'll see as we just lower ourselves down uh, this object will end up sit going through the floor which is a little bit of a disappointment but this is a work in progress there we go so we're just at the bottom there and we lower that you can see it's just going through the floor and also that the uh, switch you map the same switch it's the trigger switch to apply uh, or disengage the hook and if I use the trigger switch nothing's going to happen that is in the manual and expected but it gives you some play anyway so yes not quite all the functionality there but I think something will be happening that's different when we do a, a cargo mission so let's have a look and see what what's available for us okay and let's just let's see what the sim has uh, available for us if we go to remote hook uh, which I think is where nothing is attached there we are this is what needs to be in place if we go and fly a mission let's just have a look and see what missions are available so click on the bottom here and again into maps and missions and uh, then if I click on mission library uh, HPG missions cargo and transport transport just refers to the mission I think that we did before when we just had the military and uh, uh, civilian and luxury variants you could transport passengers around uh, so military transport is pick up zones and drop off zones but let's just see uh, and stick to cargo and uh, so you can say pick up sling cargo here anywhere cargo test 
Now, at the top here, we've got Cargo Los Angeles Air Conditioner installed. I have looked at this mission before, but yes, we get a nice little warning here saying this is a legacy mission, not mech recommended as rework is necessary. And that's clearly illustrating uh, the comments I was making earlier about this being a work in progress where members of the community are coming together. If I go to pick up Sling, Sling Cargo here, that's not uh, functioning either. I can have a good look round, and uh, you won't see anything around here. So there's nothing necessarily to pick up uh, looking around. I'm just trying to make sure um, I'm doing the right thing. And then you get this strain, you must start from the map. Uh, so if I zoom in here to where I am, which is going to take uh, a lot of time, but I can, I can, I've gone right in as far as I can to say, pick up a, uh, a place where you might want to deliver something. There's a nearby helipad. Let's just go on to that and just uh, see, keep going, keep going, keep going. So there we are, helipad there, click on that, and I've got an unknown name. Now I can open the location on my PC, which is quite nice, I guess, for looking around and finding out where locations uh, are. Uh, so, uh, for example, although there doesn't appear to be that many uh, images on the map, that's the location of where we are at at the moment. I guess if I click on that, then I'll get much more detail. So. Indeed, that's that's where we are. And it calls up uh, Bing Maps uh, straight away. Uh, so it's nice enough to be able to look around, uh, but it's not really what we're looking for. And I found that I've just not been able to get uh, this this mission off the ground. No pun intended. So if I go back, though, one of the things that does work when I bought that mission uh, is to go onto Missions Cargo, Cargo Anywhere test. Uh, that seems to work through. Mission contains no briefing. Don't need to bought it. Shut off the uh, dialogue screen there. And uh, we see that we have got a map overlaid of where we are. If I go on to external view very quickly, uh, you can see I've got a crate in front of me uh, right there. And so we can pick that up and we can put it down. And this is where the trigger mechanism will operate the cargo hook. Took me some time to get this uh, right and functioning, but we'll give it another go just as we're journeying together. Now the crucial thing is you can see I've got the crosshairs up the top here and I've got this little white dot which is indicating that the cargo, as you've just seen, is dead ahead of me and I need to get it to here. And then I need to press the trigger button, the fire button, which will attach the cargo hook and I need to be within limits. Now I'll just try and get this right. So I'm just gonna lift off the ground here And just get some stability here into the aircraft. Just going to dip. You can see me drawing towards the crate. Just looking at the little dot. You can see it rapidly moving there. Oh, sorry, not quite rapidly moving there. see it in the footwell. I like to imagine there are some people just below us who are risking life and limb. And then I don't know how, how clearly you're going to be able to see this on the screen. When it goes through the center crosshair, I'm going to click. No, missed it. Concentrating, sorry. There we go. As I just passed over, and we'll lift. Oh, no, yes, we'll lift that up. So it's a little bit fiddly. I couldn't quite work out why that wasn't happening, but that's what's going on in principle. And then in, uh, again, if I just, just transport this wherever I like. And then I'll just set it down setting it down was a bit curious very difficult to get a, 
understanding of height here. Shadow is the best to look at actually. If you have some shadow, you know where you are. And then to, to settle this and then I'll press the trigger again. Oh, there we go. And we move on. Okay, so obviously requires some uh, precision. Let me try and do a job uh, with inside again. See if I can do it as we turn. There we go. Oh, well, it came off then. It was on for a second. There we go. And I just uh, depressed there. And off we go. So we should, we won't be able to see it. But hello, let's put that is now attached. Let's just uh, have a quick look. There we are. So yes, it is possible. Uh, but uh, yeah, you can see how how fiddly things are. Uh, but um, yeah, enjoy. So there's no. Uh, oh hello, that was exciting. Uh, so there's no uh, mission per se that you would follow as if you were picking up a patient. Pick up. This will just give you an option to pick up an object and carry it. Uh, but I'm sure this area of the sim will uh, be uh, developed. So, folks, just uh, wish you the best. Don't forget, if you enjoy what you see here, don't forget to uh, subscribe. And, uh, yeah, don't forget the uh, guys in the back who are feeling suitably embarrassed uh, because um, the only other option for them is to chuck this out the door. But take care and stay safe, folks.